Hey folks, let's see if we can go back and redo the 2020 draft for the Washington football team. We are going to do that and we're going to do it starting right now. Welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs Podcast. My name is Greg. I'm your host. Welcome. And this channel is dedicated to news and commentary for the Washington Commanders. If you're down with that, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel. And when you do, also make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. Hey, if you want to support this channel, you can do it in so many ways. You can become a, a member of this of this elite channel all you have to do is pay about I think it's $2.99 a month if I'm not mistaken and we will provide some members only content just for you so check it out other ways you can support this channel is by visiting our partners Mint Mobile Mint Mobile will save you a lot of money on your wireless bill check it out have you ever thought to yourself why in the f is my wireless cell phone bill so Hi, what are you paying all of that money for? Well, at Mint Mobile, you can get all of those features for a fraction of the cost. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network and they keep their costs low because they directly sell to you. Switching to Mint Mobile is so easy. It took me less than 15 minutes using Mint Mobile's eSIMS card. And if you don't have an eSIMS card with your cell phone, just get in touch with Mint Mobile and they'll send you a SIMS card through the mail absolutely free. Big Wireless wants you to think that they are the only game in town, but let's send them packing. Switch to Mint Mobile today. Go to our link down at the bottom in the description, trymintmobile.com slash maniacs to get started today. And get this special offer for new customers. Get any plan on Mint Mobile for $15 a month. That's right, $15 a month for any plan on Mint Mobile, but you gotta act now. Now let's get back into the podcast. Yeah, and by the way, I didn't curse. <laughs> I don't usually curse. So, um, but yeah, check out Mint Mobile. They can save you a lot of money on your uh, wireless bill if you're trying to save some money, but yet have as much service. I mean, unlimited data. Unlimited data for unlimited everything, actually, for $15 a month. You can't beat that. Go to the uh, link in the description below. Sign up. You won't be disappointed. So now... Speaking of disappointment, <laughs> disappointment from the 2020 draft. So if we take a look at this, um, we will see in our 2020 draft here, and this was Ron Rivera's first draft with the uh, Washington organization. At that, at that point, uh, the Washington Redskins had become the Washington football team. So the football team had their first draft in 2020 under new head coach Ron Rivera, and this is who they chose. Uh, of course, Chase Young was second overall pick. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, people now are saying, why didn't the uh, Washington football team pick Joe Burrow? Well, you got to think we had we had Dwayne Haskins. I mean, he was picked in the first round in 2019. And, of course, we also got uh, Terry McLaurin in that draft. But, um, you know, I mean, you already got a quarterback. And he really, I don't think, played that poorly in 2019. So um, why why go quarterback in the in the, the first round there? So I understood the, the, uh, the pick with Chase Young. I really did. Um, but Chase Young in, in the first round. And then Antonio Gibson. Um Really, I mean, besides the fumbling, I think Antonio Gibson really gave some good numbers. I mean, he, I think he's still a heck of a, a of a player. But you know, of course, he's gone now. Uh, Shadik Charles, uh, the tackle, haven't really gotten a lot of minutes out of Charles, um, and certainly we're seeing this by the fact that Adam Peters is replacing a lot of those guys around uh, along the offensive line 
So Sadiq Charles, now I think also Charles had started his career with some injuries. So we really didn't get a lot out of him. Antonio Gandy Golden, this was one guy that really burnt out quickly. Wide receiver out of Liberty, I really had high hopes for for A double G. I mean, I really did. I, I I was hoping that he would really turn into something good, but he just he he flamed out so quickly. No no pun intended. Liberty Flames, no pun no pun intended on that. Okay, Keith Ismail, uh, center out of San Diego State. Very limited minutes with him. Really didn't get anything out of Ismail either. Then Kalik Hudson. Uh, now Kalik, I feel like there's still some hope for him, but um, really have not gotten a lot out of Hudson in his career either. There's been some injuries. There's been limited play. Uh, but Kalik Hudson, Hudson has just not really been able to find the field that much. Cameron Curl. I really like this pick. Um, you know, Cameron Curl really showed a lot, especially in his rookie season. Um, but, you know, the commanders were willing to let him go and sign elsewhere, and they and he did. So he's no longer with the team. And then finally, uh, to finish up, James Smith-Williams, defensive end, who actually wound up probably being uh, honestly more valuable to us because of of the injuries that Chase Young had sustained. You know, Chase Young had a excellent, excellent first year. And then second year, he was a shell of himself, got that bad injury, uh, was out for most of his third year. And then, of course, in his fourth year, gets, you know, traded to the 49ers halfway through. And now he's with the Saints. So um, just, you know, out of all those guys, I mean, honestly, none of them are going to be on the team. Maybe. I don't know about Kalik Hudson. James Smith-Williams, who knows, maybe. But um, the rest of these guys, they're pretty much gone. You know, so what a – it turned out to be a really bad 2020 draft for the Washington Commanders. really did. Um, and, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. so – I mean, at the time, you know, you looked at, at that season, you know, Chase Young was playing great. Um, you know, Antonio, Antonio Gibson got some great minutes. Cameron Curl, uh, James Smith-Williams on rotation came in and played, you know, some good numbers, uh, minutes for us. So we had some, some guys who we really felt was going to pan out. But, you know, four years later, a lot of these guys are on other teams or are probably just not going to make it. So, anyway, um, we are going to redo this draft. And uh, hopefully you guys are going to like this now. Keep in mind, I may not, I may not do well with this draft. <laughs> but I'm going to try the best I possibly can. So, let's get into this, okay? So... Um, here we are. Uh, now, all right, I kind of already started this draft. I had a total of four trade offers. I'm going to reject all these trade offers because I want to see who the Washington Commanders are going to be able to pick at number two. Okay? And it looks like I have a choice. So guess who I'm drafting? I'm drafting Joe Burrow. Why not? Yes. I'm drafting J, uh, Joe Burrell because I, I just think he's going to be a franchise quarterback. I just have this this idea he's going to be a franchise quarterback. So, okay. So now we have five trade offers? Wait a minute. Okay, I can't move this. Um, in the third round, we have five trade offers from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, to move down a little bit in the third round, and then we also pick up another fourth round, a fifth round, and seventh round. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to accept this. So now we're moving down to 76. Oh, we got we got another trade offer. I'm going to reject this. Look at the Vikings. They're like, look, dude, I'm going to give you 
if you trade down, I'm going to give you a fifth, a sixth, and then in 2021, you got four fourth round draft picks. Now, the fourth round, I feel like most of the time, the fourth round is, is kind of that last ditch effort to pick up a good quality starter that probably won't start for you in the in the first year but will you know come on in the second or third year this is pretty dope man i tell you i think i'm gonna reject it because i want to pick somebody okay so we know we didn't pick chase young but we need an edge so and keep in mind also we didn't trade up to get uh, Montez Sweat either so we're still without edges I'm going to pick up Josh um, Uchi <laughs> is that is that how you pronounce his last name Uchi and we got a choice between Josh and Jonathan Greenyard actually I am going to pick up Greenyard that's an A plus pick now keep in mind folks we need to go back and kind of see some of these draftees, okay? Are they actually giving good minutes to their teams now? Or, you know, are they, um, did they flame out as well? Okay, so now we're in the fourth round and we're looking at the Jets wanting to trade us um, all future draft round. No, I, I want to pick this year. Um, the Eagles want to give us a 2021 future fifth round if we trade down in the fourth and then we also pick up sixth round and then a future seventh. I don't like trading with NFC East rivals, so I'm gonna stick with where I'm at. Okay, so we know that um, we know that we picked up Terry McLaurin in 2019, but we got a tight end, Hunter Bryant. We got a cornerback and Troy Pride Jr. And we got uh, Brian Edwards, excuse me, a wide receiver out of South Carolina. Okay, so I think at this point, you know, of course we picked up um, Logan Thomas. We kind of, you know, he's a converted tight end. Um, but I think it's good that we go with another tight end in this situation. I'm going to go with Hunter Bryant. That's an A pick. Uh, I don't want any seventh rounds or future. I'm just going to stick with what we have here. Okay, so then we can go back and pick up either a cornerback or a wide receiver. I am going to go with Troy Pride Jr. cornerback. That's an A-plus pick. Still in the fourth. Um, the Eagles are wanting to trade. I'm not trading with the Eagles. Not. I want to stay in the fourth. I really do. So here we are. We're back. <clears throat> and we got a chance to draft another edge. Uh, we got a chance to draft another cornerback. Um, we've got a running back we can draft. We, Of course, we didn't pick up Antonio Gibson. Got AJ Dillon out of Boston College. We got another tight end, Harrison Bryant. Um, out of all of these guys, <clears throat> I know, uh, I know the uh, Washington football team really excelled on edges. Um, I think I'm going to pick Alton Robinson here. Okay, so now we're in the fifth round. The San Francisco 49ers are uh, wanting the, the trade up and also give us a six rounder um you know what let, let, let's go with this <clears throat> i'm not gonna do multiple picks <clears throat> excuse me you know, a lot of people wanted to trade up with me but i'm not going to do it i'm going to stick at 163 so at 163 got a wide receiver kj hill Antonio Gandy Golden, we know how that turned out. Uh, ben Bredesen, um, inside and outside linebacker. Uh, and Brandon Jones, a safety. And of course, uh, another corner. I am going to pick K. 
K.J. Hill, wide receiver, because I think he turns out better than A.G.G. See, on the fifth round, I'm not trading out of the fifth round. We've got Thaddeus Moss, who really didn't turn out. Uh, John Hightower, a wide receiver. Uh, let me call P. Ryan. Um, and James uh, Porsche. So some wide receivers. I'm going with another edge. I'm going with uh, Gibson from Tulsa. It's a B plus. All right, this is fun. I know a lot of you guys are looking at this like you are an idiot. <laughs> well, I'm having fun with this. Um, so now we got uh, some suggestions of a running back, Anthony McFarland Jr. Um, we've got offensive tackle, Charlie Heck, um, a safety in Geno Stone, a wide receiver in Isaiah Coulter, and a linebacker, Justin uh, Stenard, out of Wake Forest. We're at picking at 2-11. Um, I know that we picked up Antonio Gibson, and uh, so I'm thinking a running back is in order. I'm picking a running back because I know that we got rid of um, Adrian Peterson at that point. And see, I can go back into the draft, and guess who I'm picking? Lajaria Sneed. Because we all know, even though it's a B-plus pick, we all know that Lajaria Sneed, what he turns into. All right, so now we have Juwan uh, Jennings, wide receiver, uh, Kevin Dodson, uh, linebacker. Uh, I'm... Actually, in this, I'm going to pick Trey Adams because I know that Ron Rivera is going to tear up our offensive line, so we need to draft somebody. Our last pick in the seventh round. Um, so some suggestions here. Dalton Keene, a tight end. Uh, defensive line, uh, Brevion Roy. And um, linebacker, Trey Phillips. So I've, I've um, not really picked a linebacker in this draft. Um, I've picked a tight end. Um, and you know what? On this one, I think I'm going to do Trey Phillips. A plus. So here we are, folks. The uh, the draft is complete for the 2020 season, and if you're tuning in, you're like, wait a minute, I thought I thought I'm watching this in 2024. You are, but we're going back and we're redoing. Um, was then the Washington Football Team, now the Washington Commanders um, draft from the 2020 2020 season. So of course we've got Joe Burrow, quarterback, uh, Edge, Jonathan Greenyard. Um, Tight end, Hunter Bryant. Cornerback, Troy Pride Jr. Edge, Alton Robinson. Wide receiver, K.J. Hill. Edge, uh, Travis Gibson. Running back, Anthony McFarland Jr. Cornerback, Lajaria Sneed. Offensive tackle, Trey Adams. And linebacker, Trey Phillips. So that is, that is the 2020 um, draft revisit it let me know in the comments what you think about this draft was it horrible was it not so bad i mean you know considering the fact that we didn't know how many of these guys would actually work out in the nfl um we got some b pluses we got some but mostly it was uh the lowest we got was a b plus and so the rest of them were a's and a pluses so excellent draft according to the nfl mock draft database uh, so what do you guys think? Um, again, I, I realize I don't haven't followed all of these guys as far as their NFL careers. So, um, you know, of course, we know Joe Burrow. We know uh, Lajaria Sneed. So, I mean, you know, some of these guys have turned out to be great. 
and probably some of these guys not so much. But do you think that this draft would have worked better for uh, the Washington football team or not? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.